Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about rabies infection. This bullet chip virus transmits by bites of bats, raccoons, or skunks, less commonly by dogs. In certain scenarios, for example, a bat cave filled with bats that have rabies, simply breathing the air will put you at a risk of having rabies without even getting bitten. In any case, once the virus enters the body, it uses a nerve to travel all the way up to the brain. Specifically, it will bind to the nerve using the receptor acetylcholine, and it will travel up the nerve using the motor protein dynin. And this can take a very long time, so in a way it's an incubation period. Often it will take weeks or even months. Once the virus reaches the brain, it rests in the Purkinje cells of the cerebellum and the hippocampus. If we take a neuronal sample of these neurons, once the infection reaches this area, we'll see the Negris bodies. These are highly characteristic black cytoplasmic inclusions. The patient will experience severe neurological and psychiatric symptoms, such as agitation, photophobia, hydrophobia, which is highly characteristic, hypersalivation, paralysis, coma, and eventually death. The paralysis will be generalized and flaccid. The symptom progression takes a very long time, often years. Luckily, we do have some treatments to offer. If someone's just been bitten by a creature with high susceptibility to rabies, we first have to clean the wound very thoroughly and then immunize the patient by giving them the vaccine and the rabies immunoglobins. This very significantly decreases the likelihood of developing rabies. One of the cutoff points for treatment is that if the patient started the hypersalivation status, then the vaccines and immunoglobins are pretty much ineffective. Because for the patient to hypersalivate, the virus has to travel all the way to the brain and then disseminate throughout the brain and reach the nerves even outside the brain, including the salivary glands. And that's why they hypersalivate. So if it reaches this stage, the condition is untreatable. Let's have a small quiz. What is the viral family of rabies infection? And the answer is rhabdoviruses. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helped.